Okay, we're in Hobby Lobby right now. As you can see, the lighting is not really that good. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you some pumpkin displays and then kind of search around the store for some other stuff. So these video clips will be broken up a little bit, okay? All right, now we're back, okay? We found a different section here that shows some uh, plaque boards or some wall ornaments that are very pumpkin-y. Can't go wrong with that. Down here, that's cool, all right? I'm just going to walk down the aisle a little bit, give you an idea. I still think those trucks are cool. Some yard ornaments. Even up on top, they got pumpkins and stuff. Yeah, that's cool. All right. All right. Turning around here, bing. Many different displays if you're into this kind of stuff. That's cool right there. I like that. Oh, that's cool. I love pumpkins. You give me the right kind of pumpkin, I will be buying them, that's for sure. I do have a certain amount of uh, pumpkins. I have a video that's concentrating on my pumpkin collection. It's small for right now, but you know, as years go by, it will get bigger. Coming around the corner. 40% mm -hmm. off, guys. Always right down. Now over here is lots of different pumpkins. Okay, get my finger out of there. Yeah, so if you want some pumpkins, this is the place to go. And we haven't even gotten over to the section yet that actually shows everything based on Halloween. Most of the stuff you're seeing right now is, you know, all autumn type, uh, fall type stuff. And Hobby Lobby has a tendency to concentrate heavy on that kind of stuff. Yeah. Wall to wall, okay? All right. Coming over here, we got some more stuff, all right? I think that's cool, too. Straight down. Over here. Now, I have a few uh, pumpkins that have writings on them. And these are cool. All the way straight up, guys. All right. I'm going to shut this off and move into a different section, guys. I'll be right back. Here we go, guys. Wall to wall goodness here. All right. And Hobby Lobby's got a lot of this stuff, kind of stuff going on. If you're into this kind of stuff, it's definitely the, the way to go. All right. Be right back. It's not even Christmas time, and they got some of the stuff out. Now, I will tell you this. For Christmas, I do collect nutcrackers. And they usually, around Christmas time, they'll have a huge uh, selection of nutcrackers and stuff. And Father Christmas here as well. So yeah, that's okay when they display Christmas and Halloween. People have an issue with it when they push it out too early. I don't understand it. As far as I'm concerned, the earlier they put stuff out, that's the more opportunity you get to buy stuff. So I don't understand. But anyway, it is what it is. Be right back. Stuff. Now these trees here are not um, from the past. We used to collect these. These are a little bit more modern. Okay. But Hobby Lobby is famous for pushing out these kind of Christmas trees. If you're into the porcelain type with the uh, lights and everything on them, this is definitely the place to get it. Now they had the original old style ones on display last year. They were like 60 bucks for them. And this, this is the place to get those if you're ever interested in getting them, okay? All right, let's get over to the other section. We're back with some Christmas trees here. Okay, now I will be posting this uh, separately from my Halloween type stuff, but Hobby Lobby is really good about displaying the Christmas stuff, okay? This is absolutely cool right here. Love the trees, okay? I do have a Halloween type uh, Christmas tree. It is orange. It is a 250 uh, light bulb situation. I also got a black pencil tree that I decorate with Halloween every once in a while. But these are very cool looking. I always wanted one of these. Check this out, guys. They still have their stuff on display here, which is cool. Okay? I don't have no problem with that. A lot of people have issues with it, but this is cool right here. The frosted trees. You can actually do it yourself type frosted trees, but you know, these are a little more expensive than your standard Christmas trees. Okay, all the way up here against the wall. 
as you can see okay now as you can see further down there is some Halloween stuff that's what these videos are going to be about uh, is Halloween but right now this here what you're seeing the video clip is based on my Christmas stuff here okay all right I'm gonna see you guys later we're back with some more Christmas trees guys look how big that one is that one here has got to be well over 12 feet let me see what the size of that is it's a quick set 12 foot yeah see that's gigantic most people don't have houses that big but if they do and that's awesome if I had a house that big I can guarantee you one thing I'd have me massive Christmas trees all over the house <laughs> okay hello all right okay, we're back with some more pumpkin -y stuff some Halloween stuff all right like I said they really concentrate heavy on the autumn thing and not so much scary Halloween type stuff but that's what Hobby Lobby is about now if you want some straw they definitely have some straw wall to wall okay yeah, how you doing? Right. Okay. Look at all that. As you can see, quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go around the corner. Well, here, that's guys. pretty much it for the Hobby Lobby excursion. Uh, they pretty much got mostly, um, you know... Um, autumn type stuff uh, not so much evil pumpkins or anything skeleton like not yet anyway uh, it's still like uh, mid July I think it's July 27th right now and I don't even know the date that's crazy but anyway uh, that's it for the Hobby Lobby excursion don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'll be pushing out some more videos this is pumpkin horror